Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. Welcome to Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate queueable apex with an example, and we'll see its code coverage as well. The scenario that we need to implement for queueable apex. So the scenario is we need to create an queueable apex class that inserts the same contact record for each account where industry equals to media. So we need to pass collection of accounts where industry equals to media and we will be passing one contact. We need to clone that contact and that same contact will be inserted under each account. So this we need to implement with the help of queueable apex and along with the queueable apex code, I will be demonstrating you how we can implement its test class. So first of all, I'm going to implement queueable apex class. So I'm going to create new apex class and uh, naming it as contact clone. So whenever you want to implement queueable apex, you need to implement one interface that is known as queueable. So you also gone through future methods. So in future method, basically we can pass primitives and collection of primitives as an argument, but in queueable, we can pass S objects as well, right? So this is the basic difference between future method and queueable. And uh, in future method, you need to use at the rate future annotation, whereas in queueable, you will be using this queueable interface. Now I'm going to create two variable. One is private contact con and another is private string. industry value and then public I need to define the constructor so I'm just copying this now this constructor will be receiving two parameters contact cont and uh, so let's make it con only and here I am writing this only and uh, inside this constructor, I'm writing this dot con equals to con and uh, this dot industry value equals to industry value. So wherever I'm using this keyword, so these are related to these private variables. And if I'm not using this keyword, so these are related to these parameters, right? So this way, this constructor is implemented. So here uh, you can see there is one error is coming because we have not implemented execute method uh, till now. So whenever you implement queueable interface, so you need to define execute method as well. So after implementing this constructor, now I'm going to define execute method. And here I need to write queueable context, context. So Inside this method, I am going to write the code so that uh, this queueable Apex can clone the contact and those contact will be inserted to related accounts. So I'm just creating a list of account. And here I'm going to write one SOQL. So select ID name from account where industry equals to and here I need to write that industry value field so equals to this and I am adding limit as well so this limit is optional if you want to avoid you can and I am creating list of contact on list equals to new list of contact now I am going to iterate on the account list that I queried so 
loop is iterating on this ACC list one by one account will be available into this ACC variable. Now, what I need to do, I just need to clone this uh, con variable. I'm going to clone it. So I'm just going to use, okay, so here I'm using con c equals to con dot clone. And here I'm passing false as parameter. So uh, this clone is a function uh, that can clone an S object and uh, it will be available into this C variable. Now I just need to set account ID for this newly created uh, cloned contact. So I am assigning acc.id into this c dot account ID, right? And now on list dot add and C. So this cloned contact will be having the account ID populated. So it will be uh, automatically linked to a particular account. And this contact will be added into this contact list. Now, after completion of this, I'm just applying one uh, if condition. So I'm just checking whether this contact list is null or not. So I'm using is empty method. If con list is not empty, then insert con list, right? So this way, this code is implemented. So I made a mistake instead of queuable contact, I need to write queuable context. So then it will be correct. So now if I save this, so you will see this error will be gone. Okay, so at line number 12, okay. So it should be a count. Now uh, code is correct. So I just saved it. Now I'm just opening anonymous window and uh, So here first I'm going to, okay, let's first create one contact, one account with industry as media. So I'm having this account and here I'm going to populate industry as media. Okay, but it is not editable. Okay, let me create new account record. And here I'm populating industry as media. So it is created here, you can see, and the related contact is not available. So From here, basically, uh, I need to pass uh, one contact and one uh, string value. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create one contact. And I'm providing last name as Google Apex, right? Now I need to uh, create instance of uh, that contact clone class. So the instance is created and here I need to pass this con and uh, media. So basically if you see the code, so in the constructor, we need to receive this contact and we need to receive this industry value. And basis on that, uh, this SOQL work will work. So it is passed and now ID job ID equals to system dot NQ job and here I'm passing this instance, right? So before executing, I am just uh, refreshing this space. So here you can see there is no uh, queuable apex. So three rows are available. So now I'm going to execute and you will see fourth row will be available there. 
So I'm going to execute these. And if I come here and refresh, so here you can see queuable process is completed. And if I come here and refresh, so you will see a related contact and that contact name will be queuable apex. So now if I go to contact, so there will be two contacts named as queuable apex. One I created from anonymous window and one is cloned and then created. Okay. So what happened? I just uh, didn't write insert here. I just created this and uh, passed. So it was cloned and inserted. That's why one contact is there, right? If you write insert com, so it will be inserted in the org and then it will be cloned. So there will be two contacts. So when you will be implementing this code, so you can apply this process, right? So after explaining this, now it's time to implement its test class. So let's quickly implement the test class for this queuable Apex. So public static. So let's create this method test contact clone. So this will be the method. And before that method, I'm going to create at the rate test setup method. So at the rate test setup uh, annotation is used to create setup method so that uh, you can create the data. And uh, in this uh, another method, you can query that data. So I'm just going to create static void setup method. And in this setup method, I will be creating the data and that data we will query in this. So here I'm going to create list of account. So this way five times this loop will repeat and I'm going to create five contacts, sorry, five accounts. And for each account, I'm populating industry as media. And in this list, I am adding the account. After completion of this loop, I'm just inserting this ACC list. So all the accounts are inserted. Now I'm just uh, going here. So this uh, data is created here, right? Now here in this test clone class. So here I'm going to create one contact and that will I will be passing. So. Uh, let's create that contact here so that we can query later on. So I'm just going to create one contact. And insert con. Now here in this test method, I'm going to query the contact first. So contact con equals to select ID from contact where last name equals to, and I'm just copying this name and putting it here. So this way, the contact which I inserted in this setup method, I am able to query that in this test method. So what is the benefit of this uh, setup method? Like you just need to create the data once and you can query it in any uh, test method that you implement in this test class. Now after creation of this, sorry, after uh, fetching this contact, now I'm assigning industry value as media into this uh, string variable and then test dot start test, test dot stop test. Right. So uh, these two statements basically we write so that we can have fresh uh, governor limits. Now inside this, I need to 
uh, call the method. So I'm just copying these two statements and I'm writing them here. So I just created instance of this contact clone class and here I'm going to pass this CONT and instead of this, I'm just going to pass this industry value. So you can do both, like you can store that uh, string into a string variable or you can pass it directly as well. So here uh, you can see So this queueable uh, instance is enqueued here. So it will be executed. Now after its execution, we just need to make sure whether uh, related contexts are created or not. So I'm just applying assert equal. So system dot assert equals. So basically we created five accounts. So five contexts should be there along with these accounts. So I'm just having five here. And uh, then I'm writing SOQL. So select count from context. So this query will run on contact and context will be counted where account ID in. So let's put it in separate line. So account ID in select ID from account where. industry equals to media, right? So uh, this, this is the SOQL select count from contact where account ID in, and this is one more uh, part of this SOQL, which is querying the account and where industry is media. So uh, those contexts will be counted, uh, which are related to account and where account industry is media. If it is equals to five, because we, uh, your, like our uh, queuable epic should uh, insert five contexts because we have five accounts only where industry is media. So if it passes, it means your queuable epic code is implemented correctly. So I saved this code. Now I'm just going to run this queuable epic test class. Okay, so it is showing some error. So let's check what is the mistake. So insert field. Okay, it is requiring. So line number 24 is failing. Okay, so what you can do, you just need to cut these statements from here and you need to paste them here. And you can comment out this line because uh, we need to create instance here so that we can pass. If you create it in the setup method, so your test uh, class won't work. And if you put it here, so uh, in this case, if you run the test, so it will pass. And if you go to your contact clone uh, queueable epic, so it is covered 100%. So this way you can implement your test class uh, to cover queueable epics for the required scenario.